come out today to a woodland that uh, is not far from me, it's about 10 minutes drive, that's all now. Um, I used to play down here as a kid, so it must be what, 50 years since I was in here last. Um, bringing back a lot of memories, we used to come down here walking on a weekend from a little village at top with me, my mum and my dad, and bring sandwiches down and have a picnic. Uh, tried to find those areas but they've overgrown now. Got some ponds where we could get frog spawn out as a kid and watch it hatch and then come and put the uh, tadpoles back in. Uh, I've been looking for quite a while for a, a piece of woodland quite close to me and to be quite honest discounted this and then the other day driving past thought I'll, I'll go and have a look. So I came down uh, earlier this morning um, my intention was to get here for sunrise, probably a bit of mist about, but sleep took over. Um, I've come down just basically a scouting mission. Um, I've had a look and found a few nice compositions. <coughs> I've done some panorama shots. Um, we'll see how they turn out. It's definitely somewhere I'm going to come back to. Uh, so I think the best thing to do, let's just go and explore the woodland photography conditions the lights way too harsh you can see that behind me uh, if I move out of the shade of this tree straight away it all goes wrong so birds are singing I'm just gonna kind of walk nice and quiet there's a few dog walkers but not too many and we'll uh, see how we go You can see the light levels on this shot are really contrasting. We've got the sun blazing down at the moment for February. Can't just can't believe it. There's not a breath of wind. It's quite warm. Thinking about taking my jacket off. Um, I've just set a composition up on the camera. Um, we've got some silver birch trees, and then in front of it we've got some trees with the look like sapling oaks with the leaves still on. Um, and they're making a really nice contrast in this uh, this woodland. The light's shining directly onto them, so it's not too bad with the with the light. I'll just uh, spin it round, and you can see on the back of the camera what we've got. So we've got the scene that I'm looking at. You can see how nice it is. Look at the sky. If it were July, you could understand this, but that's the shot in front. We've got the two uh, stand of silver birch there, just coming through. And it's just contrasting nicely so if I come down onto the back of the camera what I've done is we've got the um, the photo there I've already taken it I've done a, a four shot panorama which I'll stitch together later uh, I've taken the focus on the silver birch there you can see right in the center uh, on f7.1 so we get a bit of depth of field but I'm trying to get the distracting small uh, saplings in the front just to sort of go blurry and give a bit of depth but we'll uh, we'll see what we get with that nice Quite an interesting looking tree there. Conditions today, it's a little bit bright, but I'm thinking if that is a little misty, a little bit of mist bringing it out. I love the way the, the branches come out at either side of it. It's like it's got its arms really stretched wide. It's quite tall as well. 
think I might just try a shot of that just for a record shot quite like that composition that you can see there on the phone now just cropping out on the um, on the edges so if we can come sort of just down by there to take that tree off that side and then keep the same amount of space on the other so I'll just set the camera up we'll take a shot and see what we get of that so there's the composition that I've gone for uh, it's a little bit contrast on the light at the moment but uh, I do still quite like it and it's a good record shot and we've only been 10 minutes away from home if the weather conditions are good I can get here quite quickly so if you look on the back of the camera that's the shot and I've gone for the, if I can hold it steady I've gone for the branches just going out top left and top right uh, cut off the top of the tree and tried to keep it as neutral at the back as I possibly can um, I've gone for f4.5 reason for that is it'll give me enough depth of field on the tree but then just soften out the background giving me some depth no compensation you can see the the greens so the uh, camera is set it's all leveled off um, what I've done if I bring up the focus point you can see the focus point there right in the center of the tree now what I use I use bring it over there I use back button focus and on this I've set the HDR button which I never use because it only works in um, JPEG I've set that so when I press that button there we get the focus so if I press it you'll see the little blinky go off there so we focused on that now I can move the composition as long as I don't move away front and back that will stay focused actually on the tree I'm on a two second timer as well so I'm just going to press the button two second timer goes and let's bring that back up so that's the finished shot there now let me zoom in on there and we can see that we've got all the detail there in the tree bark if we move to the side difficult to see on this phone but you can see that the background is just dropping out of focus a little bit we've got a nice bit of shadow detail still creeping in so I quite like that um, definitely a shot I'll be marking to come back and do later if it wasn't for that slight rumble in the background which is M62 traffic could be in the middle of nowhere we're actually about 10 minutes from if that really in the car well I say 10 minutes um, from two quite major towns and cities these little bridges It wasn't, norm, wasn't built up as much as this when I used to come down here. It was quite a steep ravine and we just uh, an old tree laid across it that we used as a bridge. And they put these new bridges in now for the paths. All around this area is where these hill bits are. I've just come back a little bit. So that area there and that was a frog pond. That tree we can see there that used to be just at the edge of it and then it goes further up the banking so all that piece and the low path there that was one huge great frog and newt pond which it looks like it's dried up now it's not water as we come up here the path widens and we've got a lovely tree avenue down there I 
and again just on the right now they've all dried up but all those all that area there used to be the frog ponds as well it's all overgrown I walked up off the main path um, they do mountain biking events in here and this is one of the stages where they come up now what I've spotted from the path down there was the silver birch here now you can see that it's been coppiced at some point or split the roots split but that looks probably like a coppice still and we've got the branches going away that light that's coming through is just causing a little bit of flare in the background which are quite light so I'll set the camera and there's the composition and just shield that sun a little bit for you that's the composition we've got there looking down between the V of the branches and just running as eye line through there settings wise 5.6 I'm on aperture priority evaluative metering just letting the camera do what it wants to do um, it's not too good that at the moment let me just see if I can get a better handle for you that's a little bit better okay so we've got the camera's level horizontally just tipped a little bit on the uh, forward axis I focused on the stump of the tree so hopefully we're going to have enough depth of focus there depth of field to keep the tree sharp but I want everything else to start going out so let's take that shot there and let's review that one so I'm just going to start to zoom through the shot start to zoom in there let's have a look have we got the tree focused So I'll look at that a bit further in. Don't look too bad. Again, it's difficult to see when you're watching it through a screen, through a screen, through a screen. But we'll see if it comes out. If that was misty, we get some mist one morning. Dropping the background through the mist, that would be quite nice. So definitely want to come back and take again. So I've just been trying to get some footage of the birds singing but you can hear them but as soon as you get locked on for the focus away they go oh it's a robin just down there it's just on the branch in front of me I'm not going to move I've just got it on the phone camera absolutely amazing camera is so close to me but if I move it's gonna go and I think I'm just gonna watch this and just enjoy the moment of it that was really good the uh, robin that was on the little branch down there I took the chance and um, got a couple of shots I had to go into manual focus I uh, videoed it through the camera through the Olympus so I got the 300mm lens on uh, so it's reasonably close I've checked it on the back of the camera I don't know whether it's focused or not but it's still really nice it's got the air ambulance going over uh, and then it darted about the woodland sort of circling me and managed to get a couple of shots um, we just come to the back of the camera I'll see if I can find some and let you just have a quick look so we've got one on the back of the camera there I'm going to zoom in oh wow oh that's gorgeous that really is lovely I'm blown away by that shot really am let's see what others did we get did we get any it's in there somewhere oh it's there just hidden 
What a fantastic little woodland this is. Well, that was an absolutely magical time. About half an hour there of just standing and listening to the birds singing, getting that shot of the robin. Um, just again, just hang on a second while I get down here. Oh, does my knees no good at all? That. This light is harsh, but it's nice. So this is definitely a bit of a coming back. Uh, just come off. So I'm back on the main, nearly on the main path now. The lights coming, it's come all the way around. It's coming sideways into the woodland now, so it's casting some really long, nice shadows. So I'm just going to stroll back towards the car. Uh, if I see anything else, then uh, I'll get back. When we get all the leaf coming out on these trees, it's going to be really dark in this undergrowth. But when you get the light coming through and it's all dappled, that's going to be worth another visit and uh, taking some more shots. This wood used to be worked, I um, can't remember for the life of me what it actually was but there were a lot of mines around here I seem to remember something about mining and we can go, it's got the remnants of the old wall there and if we come round you can see a wall just at the end where the trees reclaiming everything now so just the odd bit of brickwork there used to be more than this when I were a kid at the far end of the wood it's all being developed now um, we've got the power grid people there at the moment and that used to be a disused mine so uh, that's all gone so we've just got these little bits of remnants left and then it's all gone back back to the nature Okay, so we had a really good time, got some good photos I think. Uh, highlight was the, the robin, that was incredible. So, if you've enjoyed this, subscribe, hit the like button, the little notification bell and share it with somebody. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one.